are dealing with a very powerful Category 4 system. As we take, show you here in the next couple of seconds here as my graphics start to load up, we are anticipating, though, the potential that this could be indirectly or directly affecting parts of Florida by the end of the week and into the weekend. Here it is. You can see it. It is a very powerful system. It just went through an eye replacement, which is why it has strengthened with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. The outflow boundary is textbook. You can see that it is just surrounded by those deep, dark red shades, including a lot of deep tropical moisture completely surrounding the system. And for that reason, the National Hurricane Center, the hurricane hunters were out there and they found out that sustained winds have now increased again up to about 130 miles per hour. It's still trekking very quickly towards the west, about 13 miles per hour. I'm going to step out of the way because I know this is the part of the cone you're really keeping your eyes on. It's still anticipating just to brush parts of the Caribbean islands thread Hispaniola as well as Cuba. But now the latest advisory does have parts of South Florida under the cone of concern. But again, their cone of uncertainty is what we're going to call it because by the time day five and six go out, the models are still in very much disagreement. So we are going to have to keep our eyes on it, not just for today, but throughout the next couple of days. This is not the time to panic. This is not the time to stress out, but it is a good time to start talking and reviewing your hurricane plans with your family and friends. And of course, starting to work on those hurricane supplies. Here are the models. Again, they are in pretty good agreement till about they get to the Bahamas, southern Bahamas, I would say because then you can see that they start fanning out. Some of them taking it straight through Cuba, some of them making its way right over the Florida Straits and even shifting straight north, potentially curving back around over either South Florida or just tracking northward up Florida. The timing and the track of Irma is going to be very dependent on this system right here. It is a cold front, but depending on the timing is really going to affect the location of Irma. And for that uncertainty, that is why that cone starts to expand out to about 200 miles by day five. Of course, it is something you're going to want to continue to keep a very close eye on because again, that timing of that front is going to be crucial. The exact track is still very uncertain past five days out. So the big thing that you can do right now is staying informed. Of course, right here with News 6, you got the Pinpoint Hurricane app. You have our News 6 uh, News app as well, but also being prepared. Talk to your family and friends, make that plan and make sure that you're prepared as the peak of hurricane season is just a few days away. 